Giselle, like it's like it's like welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> if you're new here welcome to the gizzard family and you're officially a gizzard whether you like it or not you're a gizzard <laughs> and if you're old here you know how i feel about you i love you so so much thank you for sticking with me most of you know i live alone it's been like a year and i've been trying to figure out how to be sensible when it comes to spending and all of that so i'm going to take you guys along with me to my grocery shopping today and i'll give you guys some tips and hacks as to how i'm able to minimize my spending when it comes to grocery shopping and surviving in greater accra open your eyes open your eyes because we coffee and alcohol catch your mama because mama be catch us okay okay Today we are going to Malcolm and Palace Mall. The target for today is 1,000 Ghana cities. And I hope we don't surpass that. Hopefully it's below that as well, but that is my target for today. Before I was spending lesser than that, like 700, but now because of how expensive things have been, the price is also increased. When we are going to shop um, for hygiene stuff, food and um, toiletries and all of that. So come with me to Malcolm and Palace Mall. Okay, so I'm packing my things to leave now because I'm ready and my ride is almost here. I want to show you guys my number one hack. Pay attention. I've got these discount cards from Melcom and Palace Mall. This is the one from Melcom and this is the one from Palace. I requested for these cards there and then and then I paid I think 20 Ghana CDs for each of them from the separate malls. And I don't care the amount I spend there, I still whip it out to use for payment. Because this does wonders, okay? You might not acknowledge it, but it takes some amount from the total amount you have to spend at these malls. And these ones really, really help me because sometimes I see the amount and I'm like, oh my God, we see them so... And then I whip this out and then it's like, yes, girl, I can pay for my shit. And this video is not a sponsored video. Let me just put this out there. It is not a sponsored video. Let's go grocery shopping. I don't know why I'm happy. I'm not happy because I don't like spending my own money. So I mean, I have to act like I'm happy with that because this is a YouTube video. Oh my God. This is what I'm wearing. This is a shirt from NFL. And then my bag, my shorts from Denim from Nan. And then my slides from Shop Frugal Finds. Yep, I think my ride is here, so I have to rush real quick. <laughs> okay, guys, so I forgot to also mention that I don't live close to China Mall, but ideally, if I lived close to China Mall, I think I, there's a China Mall in Spintex, and there's one somewhere else, but I don't remember. I'll add it to the video when I do. If I lived closer, that would be my number one stop shop for groceries because their things are more affordable. But since I live close to Malcolm and Palace, these are like the only options that I have available to me right now. I'm considering transportation too. Yeah, me say don't take the girl, my life be like yo. Never look in a year, they bark out, they ain't taking a year for you. They feel singing and under, so I can stop by my side, oh why? So they turn up for the four, me or the other baby. But I'm here, yeah, this, yeah, this. How much is it? I just got to Melcom and I'm going to start at the in the fruit juice section because there's like the first aisle when you get to the place. So what I usually do is I buy either cranberry or the multi fruit and pineapple. The pineapple is a constant. I have to buy the pineapple juice. So the price for the pineapple juice today is the multi fruit and it's 30 cds 49 percent and i'm looking at the cranberry and it's 30 cds and because we are on a budget and we are trying to spend just a thousand cds today i'm going with the cranberry because i still buy those ones it's just either the multi fruit or the cranberry so one thing i can't live without it is soda and i usually buy like tons of can cook to put in my cabinet because if, even if I don't buy it from the shop, I'm going to buy it from outside. So it's better to buy it from the shop. So we have this here and I can't see the prices. I'm still going to take it either way. Find out at the cashier. <laughs> I 
to the cereals. I usually buy brigands, but brigands or Kellogg's works for me. I grew up eating brigands. I don't know why my mother always went with that, but hey, Kellogg's is 60, 52 cities now. This is actually my first time checking the prices of things because of the vlog usually i don't think about it because regardless you're going to buy it and you end up hurting your head the thing i don't compromise on is tea the lipton yellow label tea but today they don't have the size i want it's actually like better than buying these small ones they have this medium size my mother got it for me before i started buying it for myself and then that's when i knew that i've been cheating myself but today it's not here and so i'm not going to get tea i think i have tea at home i didn't check so typically i'll buy um Cerilac, but that's why i love tomorrow because the Cerilac i bought months ago is still there a month or two ago is still there and it hasn't expired so that's what i'm going to be eating and i also get this peak milk milk at home so i'm not going to buy the peak milk but that's the price before it was 100 and i don't remember i tweeted about it i'll add it the initial price and so i'm going to get more soda i love love bb cocktail i literally can't live without it i'm sure that's like what takes my money all the time but i'm going to buy this either way so i'm taking only five of these because i need to be on my budget <laughs> so um i don't think i need anything else nothing else to remember I didn't add sugar to my list, but I actually need sugar. So I'm going to pick the cheapest one because sugar is sugar. Okay, sugar is sugar. Picking the cheapest one. <laughs> Seven, too expensive. 17 CDs. So obviously, this. I'm also out of ketchup, and so I'm going to get some ketchup for myself. I usually get the, I don't know how to pronounce it, hands. <laughs> The bigger size, I get everything in the biggest size because I feel like it's better, the prices are better. But today they don't have the big size and this is 20 CDs. I think this would be enough for a month. Yeah. yeah. On a normal day, I'll get Embog milk, but it was too expensive so I got even milk. I like even milk too, but not as much as Embog. The most important part is to check the expiry date because if you don't take it, by the time you get home, sleep and wake up, it would have expired. <laughs> be very honest. Other way I survive in Accra is this baby right here. I eat this after work every day and then instead of buying noodles from outside, you know how expensive noodles can be in Accra, I just eat this and today, before it was like 5 CDs, but now it's 7.69. I'm still going to buy it either. This way I don't check prices because now I'm rethinking, you know, I have to buy it either way. Usually buys rice for me and this is my first time looking at the prices for rice and it's not looking good <laughs> i don't even know the type of rice to buy royal aroma is looking good it's 100 cities i don't know if it's the best to buy i know royal aroma is good my mother has bought it for me a few times so yeah. i'm looking at the prices of the mackerel and it's crazy to me because One geisha for 11 cities. That's crazy. <laughs> and an apa is 10 cities, but I don't really like an apa like that. Let me just get a few of these. It won't hurt. It won't hurt, right? It won't hurt. I just saw Gary mix here, and it's very, very tempting. <laughs> it's 7 cities, 0.89. I don't think that's crazy. Should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? I'll just get two. <laughs> yeah. And you. Okay, so we are going to the toiletries. 
I did everything I said, but I did it all my way. Oh wow, told you when you came my way, can nobody take your place? Oh wow, you know like the game them play, give it to you straight all day. Oh wow, body do the talking, babe. Baby, if you make man praise, oh wow, yeah. Today, oh wow, na odo ejinye la la me. Key, like I'm scared to go to the cashier because these things are a lot. <laughs> I have like just one more thing to buy. Those are like my garbage bags for the bins in my room. And usually I buy like the tiny white ones, but the last time I got here it was out of stock. I think they have it back in stock. I'm not sure of the size, but they've written small, so let me put my hope and trust in this. It's 34. 34. 22 Ghana C, so I'm getting this. So I surprised the budget by 400 cities. My heart is aching, but I can't act like that because I'm in public. <laughs> so um, I'm going to Palace Mall to buy. Driver, please, can you lower it for me? I want something to put my milk in it because when I open the tin one, I usually don't have anything to pour it in it. And even the box one, I heard it's not actually safe to keep um, your, you know, stuff in them so that is all we are going to look for at palace mall buying bread and apples from palace mall they always have like a lot of nice things so i don't want to stay here for long because i know myself if i stay here for long i'm going to spend a lot <laughs> and i've already spent too much so let me see if i'll get my favorite plantain chips and if i don't then we just go but let's just look for that <laughs> So I'm leaving Palace now and I spent a hundred point eight two. I don't know how to feel about that. And um, let me get home. I don't want to end the video abruptly like this, so let me get home and talk and end the video because right now I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Let me just get home. Okay guys, so I'm back from Malcolm and Palace and these are not everything. There are some on the ah. yeah. the budget didn't go as planned and i can explain but are you sure you want to do that right now don't you want to see the things i got <laughs> hey i am crying within like i'm screaming within because how did i spend that much amount of money anyway i'm going to be organizing my things with you guys so let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is organize my fridge. My fridge is actually like uh, kind of empty. So don't judge me. Just watch the video in peace, okay? Let's do this in peace and harmony, I beg you. <laughs> Practically empty. I have this. This should go. This is going. These are going. These are going. I'm kind of cooking it. <laughs> So typical. So what I do is I got these bottles from Melcom, like 10 CDs last year. And so I pour my juice into this and then put it in the fridge. Apparently it's not 
safe to keep your fruit juice in the box. In here. So I'm going to wash my apples now and then put them in the fridge as well. These are from Paris, by the way. Seven apples. Right. I'm going to try this. Let's... I'm actually very hungry. I'm not eating today. This is, this is how it's packaged for this one. Okay. Like this is showing. I'm going to try it. I'm very hungry. It's worth it. It's not an ad. It is worth it. Let me finish this off camera so I can finish this. I feel like I literally have an obsession with jars and canisters because I have like a lot of them in my little space. I pour my sugar into one but the thing is after every grocery shopping I have to wash the jar, wipe it clean before I pour the next batch of items into it. So this is the jar I put my rice in as you can see I'm pouring it and then that goes back into my cabinet or pantry. I do the same with this jar. <coughs> this is my favorite breakfast. It's called the semolina. I pour that also into the jar and put it back in the pantry. So as you can see, I have like a lot of jars there. I don't know why I get them, but I love seeing them like this instead of having them in the package they came in. This is for my cereal. I have like, I always feel they need to have two types of cereal. Cornflakes and then one, um, you know, those chocolate type of cereals. Yes, yes. Me who is a me premine you and then with my conflicts I just fold the rubber and put it upside down so the rest doesn't flatten inside the box and then put that back into my cabinet or my mini pantry. And then after I put the jar with the cereals in the space with the other canisters and the jars same as this other type of cereal I was talking to you guys about. I mean if I had rice krispies or any other type of cereal I'll also put it in that one instead of the choco cereals. I don't even know why I bought that one. And my favorite, my Indomie too. I pack them up there with my um, cooking stuff. I barely cook at home actually. So these are the things I have at home for like cooking when my friends come over or like when my auntie or my parents or like my family comes over. Do you get what I'm trying to say? When you've salted, I may kind of say yes. And so on to the next. <laughs> And so this cabinet is mainly for my breakfast, I mean like the things that will not fit into the jar or the remainder of the things that did not go into the jar and my snacks. So as you can see, I have my cornflakes, my milo and the cerelac and I'm putting the biscuits too there because as I mentioned, I put my snacks there as well. Voila, we are done. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I, I, I like. I can't find the words for how I'm feeling right now, because of the vim and energy I started this video with. To be very honest, I didn't expect to spend the amount of money that I spent. You know what? Let me just bring the receipt. It's not even funny. You can't blame me, because, as I said, most of the prices have increased. And the last time I went to grocery shopping was two months ago. So if it was two months ago, then. Like it's so crazy to me because coke was like four point something there 4.99 or so but now can cook is 11 cds
if i if i want to bask in this i don't think i'll end the video but anyway i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned something from this video i don't know what you may have learned because at the end of the day it was right on my face but anyway i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you genuinely like this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment for your girl i'll be back with another video <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.